Hi, my name is John Haller, and I'm going to teach you a couple of neat little tricks. If you're trying to stop somebody from getting into the tools and menu or messing up their device, there's two ways to lock it. The more, the more lockdown method is called guided access, which is a standard uh, Apple feature. Uh, and the other way is through the app itself has a way to lock. So there's two ways to do it. I'm going to teach you the first way is that the one that's within the app itself. So if you hit menu and you go to settings, you may not have noticed this before, but as you scroll down, there's one that says editing, and you can turn that on. Well, set your passcode first. So I'm going to set mine as 401 so I can remember that. Then I'm going to go down right below and I'm going to turn it on. So you have to set your passcode first, then turn it on, which makes sense. Now you say done. Now you can still get out of this app and go to something else because you're, this app is being locked just within here. What did I mean by locking? When you hit menu, see how you have to know your passcode to get into the menus now. So if you don't know the four ones, you can't get in here and make changes. Also, when they try to go to a different vocabulary, you'll still have to know that passcode. So it stops you from making, you know, someone getting in and making these changes like this because they won't be able to do that without knowing the passcode. Now, if you hit menu, and let's say you're doing therapy or something, and this is starting to annoy you, you can go into settings. And as long as you turn it off right here and say done, you're good. What do you do if somebody went in here to the settings and they turned it on and didn't tell you what the passcode was? Well, don't, don't get too alarmed. There's a way around it. You go get out and go to the general settings that's on your iPad. Normally it starts up here. So you'll scroll all the way to the bottom until you find the lamp icon. Touch it and look right here. You can turn off the passcode here. And now you just bypass this setting. All right, that's the easy way or the fun way to learn it. That's done through LAMP Words for Life in settings. Menu, settings, go to where it says passcode, turn it on and set your passcode. But that only stops you from using these two buttons, which stops them from editing. It doesn't stop them from swiping and getting out of there. So if you have an individual which is more likely that you want to keep them in whatever program you're using, you really want to use something called guided access. It allows you to lock the ability to get out of a button, change the volume, all sorts of things can be done. You can make any spot where you circle it and say, don't let this area be touched. So how you turn on guided access is you go to your settings. And once you're in settings, you'll find one that's called accessibilities. So you're looking for this spot that says accessibilities. I touch that. And then you're looking for one that says guided access. So once I hit accessibilities, guided access shows up and you turn it on and then you set your passcode. And you can set your, it's a little longer passcode, but you get a five digit, I believe, how many that is? Three, six, even two, four, six digits, so it's a little longer. All right, so now that you've set it, it's, it's still not been turned on, so you can still do all this stuff. So what you have to do is over here with the top, right next to where it says vocabulary, there's a button. And you have to tap that three times, which is a little hard to do when it's sitting in this position, but I'm gonna try tapping it three times really fast. All right, there, good, I got it. So when I triple hit that three times really fast, then I know the passcode, it allows me, now watch how nice this is. You can take your finger and say, don't go to this area. Sometimes people make mistakes. They see stuff like this going on and they think their screen's broken. See what that did is it made these areas not accessible. So this is what it would look like. Uh, and this one, I don't even actually see. I didn't turn it on, so. We're going to triple click that again. And there, now it started. So see how you see that gray area? Because this whole area has been grayed out. So then they start worrying that their screen's broken or something's wrong. What it is is guided access has been touched and told this area. So I'm going to triple click again, enter my passcode. Now I'm going to find the little X on these and say, I don't want that area hidden. I don't want this area hidden. And maybe I don't want that area hidden. Just hide that little bit of that area. All right, and this one gives me a little trouble, but you can say hide this area too. All right, so if I did guided access and I hit this area and this area, they could still use their device, <coughs> but they can't get out because of guided access. So now they're locked in here. So I'm gonna triple click that little button again. See, it's hard in this position. Put in my passcode and I'm gonna end guided access. All right, so that's how guided access works. 
And remember, the guided access is a little more of a lockdown. You can't get out of your toolbox or you can't get into your into another app. And the other one's just menu, go to settings, and set your passcode there. Anyway, that should make this where an individual can't uh, get in there and make the changes to their to their system unless they have the passcode. I hope that helps.